Hello and welcome to Kickstart. In this video, we're gonna be going through the processing center, as well as the processing stations within that processing center. I'm gonna be saying processing a lot, so keep an eye out for that. As usual, I'm processing for Markovolm, Ludwig for Markovolm, and let's process this Kickstart. And the processing center is where I can generate my reports, my labels, and my CNC files. So, first thing that grabs my attention is this big old list over here. And this is the list of all the parts of all the cabinets that we've ticked on when we generated that work order. Down the bottom left is what processing station I would like to assign these parts to. So before we generate any G code or any reports, we wanna have a look at what settings our processing station actually has. So first off, we're gonna click on the processing station that I'd like to use. And in this case, I'm gonna use my metric default nest. So I'm gonna click on the processing station I would like to view, click on this black pen to edit, and now I can see my processing station and the settings within it. So the processing station, the first thing that we're gonna have is our settings tab. And within that, we can obviously set what kind of pre-mill we would like to use. So if we use legacy pre-mill, we pretty much set a set value on our pre-mill amount. We can set whether it's just one mil or whether we don't pre-mill at all. If we click on this drop down list, we can also select an edge band thickness. So that means that whatever edge band thickness that we use, it's gonna add that to our part. And custom edge band amount allows us to set a custom amount for our edge banding. So we also have auto assign rules and these allow us to automatically have parts assigned to this processing station. We have a few parameters that we can select from, whether we have all parts automatically go to this processing station, parts with no machining, i.e. any routes or drilling, only parts with horizontal drilling, just to name a few. So you can use this to sort of set up a cell-based manufacturing. You can have some parts automatically sent to your beam saw, some parts automatically sent to your CNC, some automatically sent to your pod and rail, just to name a few examples. We can also select what kind of tool file we are using this processing station. So we can create the correct G code for that corresponding machine. If we go over to our nest tab up the top here, we can also select on how we're going to be optimizing our parts. Now, our border method is pretty much saying, well, how are we gonna actually cut these parts on our nest? Standard is gonna allow our router bit to come up and travel between parts. Center or common line is going to allow us just to use the one path to cut two sides of two different parts. We can also have stay down nesting that allows the router just to stay in and constantly cut, raising up for only certain conditions. We can also say how we're gonna be optimizing our part, whether we wanna have it best yield, whether we wanna have small parts closer to the center for better suction of our vacuum, or smallest parts along the width or the length of the machine, being smallest X or smallest Y. We can also part groups together. We can say certain parts are gonna be on the same sheet, such as parts with the same item number, parts with only phase six machining are gonna be on the same sheet. So it does those parts in one sheet in one go, as opposed to having them spread out across multiple sheets. We can also set the distance between parts at the moment minus 13 mil, and this is a set value. That means if I use a 16 mil bit that's gonna be cutting the borders of my parts, I need to increase this distance between parts. I can also set whether I wanna run phase six first or whether I wanna activate my true shape nesting. I can also say whether I wanna double pass all my parts, leave an onion skin, or even add tabs to my routes. I can also say where I want my parts to automatically go on the nested sheet, whether they're gonna be in the top left, bottom left, top right, or bottom right of my nested sheet. I can also, from here, say whether I would like to use my scrap management system. Now, this is a module that is within Markovelm, so you need to make sure you have this module first before we can use this feature. And that's pretty much a nutshell of our processing station settings. Now, how do we actually use this to create G-code for our parts? So the first step that we need to do is we need to say, well, what parts are gonna be processed to our CNC machine? If we would like all of our parts in this list over here to be processed, we can either click and drag over this list over here or simply click on this button, select all parts. Give them a click and now all my parts are highlighted in blue. Now we can filter this list. Up the top, we got some gray column headers, part name, quantity, width, to name a few. You can see when I hover my mouse over these gray cells, there's a little arrow that appears. If I click on them, 
it allows me to filter out values within these fields where I can say, well, I don't want any parts under 100 mil. So I can click on this and there will no longer be any parts 100 mil or less in this list. I can turn it back by clicking on the tick and simply hitting clear. I can also say, well, what parts I do or do not want to process the same way. I can go to my part name over here, click on the arrow, and I can filter out by part name. But first, I need to make sure that I've got the parts highlighted. Since I want everything to go, I'm going to have everything highlighted. Next, I need to select the processing station that I would like to use. And for that, I'm going to be using my metric default nest. So I've got my parts highlighted, I've got my processing station highlighted. Now I need to hit this assign processing stations to selected parts. When I do that, if I scroll my bar to the right in my list, I can see some X's appear along the corresponding processing station that I selected, i.e. my metric default nest. So now that I have these X's here, once I hit process on the bottom of my screen over here, it's gonna generate the necessary CNC files for these parts. I can say, well, I actually made a bit of a mistake and I don't want this particular shelf to be cut on the machine. I can click on the parts that I would not like to be processed and simply hit this clear assignments from selected parts. Give it a yes and you can see there's no longer an X over here, meaning that everything but this oven fixed shelf is gonna be cut on the machine. I can turn it back by simply making sure he's highlighted. Once again, my processing station's highlighted I just have to hit this tick over here. Now it's gonna ask me, well, what batch name do I wanna use for it? Now the batch name is going to be what your G-code files are gonna be named after. Since this is called B1, my G-code files are gonna be called B1001, B11003, B11005. If I wanted to here and I simply said kick for kickstart, there will be kick1001, kick1002, and so on and so forth. So now that I've got kick as my batch, I can now hit process. Once the processing is complete, I'm gonna be notified over onto my left over here, telling me, yep, you have now processed this list. I can then find my G-code files if I did send this to something like a pod and rail or a CNC machine by going over to my general button up the top over here, and then by going over to my browse work order folder. There, it's gonna take me to a folder aptly named the name of the worker that I created. And there you can see there's that kick batch that I created. Double click on him. It's gonna say, well, this is the processing station that you've used. Double click on him. There's my materials. And if I double click on that, it's gonna display my G-code files in whatever format they are set to. And from there, we can do whatever we want with them. We can copy and paste them. We can have them automatically sent to the machine by adjusting our tool file as well. And that is our processing center and our processing stations. Thank you so much once again for watching. I hope you have found this as entertaining and as educational as I have found it fun to record. As usual, I'm Ludwig from Markovolm. Thank you so much for watching and take care.